Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what Spirit wants you to hear. Please remember this matter and for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what Spirit wants you to hear. Somebody is missing a massive opportunity here. Somebody is missing a massive opportunity. Okay, um, this person is all types of confused, right? I do see them keeping themselves stuck in a very dark place. Okay, they're very confused about this connection. Um, but they are missing... A beautiful opportunity here they're literally missing a divine gift okay um, they're keeping themselves away from you right because they're assuming the worst like they feel like that things may not work out okay this person seems to I'm hearing vulnerable they're in a very vulnerable spot at the moment um, I do see them sort of being very frustrated, okay, because they're keeping themselves away from you. The thing is, this person doesn't really need to keep themselves away from you. They're keeping themselves away from you and missing a golden opportunity, right? This person, again, they seem to really be thinking about you, really stuck on you, right? I'm hearing overthinking. This person seems to be overthinking the situation. I'm hearing Michael. But this person, they sort of feel like they don't have a chance here with you, right? But they're not even trying, right? Um, I do see that this person is sort of being very sneaky, right? They're trying to figure out how you're feeling about them because they have a feeling that you feel the same way, but this person will not communicate. They're keeping themselves stuck. They're keeping themselves away from you. Um, I do see them trying to gather information through a third party. Okay, so they have somebody here that's trying to figure out if you're interested in them, right? Or they're using a third person. This could be like a fake account or something as well. Okay, because I do see them trying to figure out how you're feeling without them making any type of movement, right? This person, they seem to be very possessive over you, yet they're not making any move towards you, right? So I am getting that they watch you and they're very possessive over you, okay? If you speak to anybody else, they seem to get really jealous. This person seems to be holding themselves back though, right? Yeah, keeping themselves stuck. And I even see this person, like, praying, okay, or praying or opening up spiritually or just trying to figure out how they can move things forward here with you. But the thing is, this person needs to communicate. They're trying everything but communicating. There's something about you, it's like you're very outspoken, I'm I'm hearing, right? So it's like you're not afraid to say what's on your mind. And I am getting that this person, again, very confused because they look at you as somebody that is very open, very honest, very blunt. But the thing is, they feel like that they, they don't really know how you feel. And they feel like if you did feel a certain way that you would be telling them about it. Right? This person is just doing a whole lot of overthinking. This person really looks at you as somebody, I'm hearing celebrity, like they've definitely put you on a pedestal here. They feel like that you're somebody that, I mean, with the star and the um, 
and the temperance here, like, I feel like you're somebody that's very healing, you stand out, okay, um, I'm hearing a healer, um, but you stand out, a lot of people are attracted to you, they also feel that a lot of people feel this way about you because you're very beautiful, you stand out, um, very unique, I'm hearing, angelic, I'm hearing, This person is watching you, right? Watching you in a very sneaky way, but, like, they've walked away from this or they're pretending to walk away from this. They're keeping themselves away from you, but this person, they cannot get over you. They are very intimidated here as well, right? They feel like you could have anybody that you want. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This person may... For some of you, they may have, like, children or something, or they may have got somebody pregnant, or they may have a situation here where they feel like they can't really get out of it. This person's frustrated, right, because they feel like that what you guys had going is over, right? Um, they made they made some silly decisions here, okay? Um, they could have got themselves stuck in a stressful situation they don't know how to get out of. This person wants to talk to you, but they feel like that at the moment, um, they feel like things are not going right. Nothing's moving, okay? They're not moving. That's the that's the most important thing. They're not moving. They're just watching, right? They're watching. They want to communicate, but they keep holding themselves back. And again, the more that they hold themselves back, the more frustrated they get. This person really wants to, like, celebrate with you or they want to, like, I'm hearing drink with you or something. Like, they really want to have some type of, like, party or celebration here with you. But again, they seem to be a little bit intimidated and scared to even talk to you. And again, they are just missing a golden opportunity here, keeping themselves back and assuming the worth. This person feels like they don't have a lot to offer at the moment, and that's really stressing them out, right? There could be somebody around them as well that's, like, lying to them. I do see, like, a third person, okay, like, lying to them. I am getting that they could be, like, getting somebody to talk to you or trying to gather information about how you're feeling and the third person's lying and trying to keep them away from you, right? Manipulating the situation here. Again, this person just seems to be missing the opportunity, okay? Just sitting there, missing the opportunity, not even trying. It's like... Every day is the same for them. They continuously think about you, want to reach out, but just don't. And again, they're missing, they're delaying things, they're missing opportun opportunity here, okay? Nothing's moving forward in their life. I do see this person lying about their feelings, okay? Just lying in general as well, manipulating things. There's somebody in the middle here that's giving this information that's not true, false information. Somebody in the middle doesn't want this person to even be around you, okay? So it's like they're lying, okay, or they're twisting the story here to cause conflict. So basically, whatever this person is saying to the person holding back from you, they're completely deceiving, they're confusing your person, they're making your person feel like you're not interested, you're, you may be seeing somebody else. Yeah, this person in the middle seems to be manipulating the situation, making your person confused, making your person feel like you're not interested, okay? Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces. Yeah, making your person feel like that you're over them, that you're, you've moved on, okay?
saying that you're happier without this person or like even saying that you don't even like this person, okay, depending on whoever this person is that is in the middle here, they're twisting the story. You may not even know that this person is going back and sort of twisting the story to this other person and this other person's already really confused. Like, they're confused. They get a lot of intuitive signs about you. They find you very mysterious, like they cannot read you at all. Basically, whoever this person is that's holding back from you, okay, and missing this opportunity here with you holding back their feelings, um, they really do feel like you're too good for them. They really do feel like you you have a lot to offer, okay? You're very stable, very independent. They feel like they don't have a lot to offer at the moment, okay? They could be going through a really hard time right now. I do think that they are going through some type of financial problem. They may have lost their job or something. Um, they don't really know how their money's going to come in and they feel like they don't have a lot to offer. So they could be holding themselves back at the moment, withdrawing from this connection, spending a lot of time alone, they feel like you're very strong, okay, so whoever you are, you seem to, with the nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and the strength card, okay, you seem to be somebody that's very financially abundant, somebody that um, definitely has their shit together, okay, you may have quite a lot of money, or you may be doing really well in your career, um, they just feel like that you're way out of their league, okay, um, everything goes right for you, okay, they feel like they're going through, they don't, like, they feel like you know how to handle yourself, and they don't, right, this person may be older, older than you as well, this person has somebody watching you, could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, or a Virgo, Yeah, again, with the Nine of Pentacles, like, this person really had put you on a pedestal. They really feel like you have a lot to offer and, you know, they feel like they have nothing to offer. They feel like, I'm hearing survival mode, okay, this person, again, they may not, they may have lost their job. They may not have a lot of finances at the moment. They may be, like, struggling to get by um, and they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. They feel like you have a lot of options, um... And they feel like that, it's like, they feel like, why would you tune them, right? If you could basically have what you want. They feel that they're very immature. They haven't really been using their money right, okay? And now, like, they've lost their job or something. Um, they regret the way they've used their money, okay? They feel like this person seems to be, like, very, like, in the moment, okay? They seem to be, like, somebody that doesn't really plan for the future, if that makes sense, so it's like if they get a lot of money this pay or something, they don't really save, they just go out and party and like blow their money, I just think, um, 1331, which means that communication problem, okay, so, yeah, this person, they feel like, again, they're sort of embarrassed here because they don't have any money, okay, and, or a job, or they don't, they're not getting paid, okay, they're not doing anything to get paid right now, and this is making them feel very nervous, okay, to approach you, this person does miss you, and they do want to speak to you, but again, they don't feel like they have a lot to offer, um, there's somebody in the middle twisting the story, making them confused, making them feel like that you've moved on, um, and this person basically just keeping themselves away from I'm getting something about, like, they may have, like, lost... Mm, they may have lost their transport, they may have lost their life and their car, okay? This person's really not going through a good time, guys, okay? Um, so if you're wondering why they're not reaching out, okay, I, I do see that you may be getting very frustrated wondering why this person isn't even trying to approach you, like, they may have ghosted you, they may have, um, you know, it's like they're running away, but the thing is, they're not feeling very confident within themselves, they've recently gone through something that 
like they're healing from something, okay? Something that has hurt them. Um, again, it could have been a loss of job. I'm hearing a uh, house, okay? They could have lost their house. Something that made them feel stable. Um, they've recently lost, okay? And they're in a very dark place at the moment. So they withdraw themselves from you. And I am getting that before. They thought that, you know, you were already out of their league. But now that they've lost their income, okay, they don't really know. They seem to be living in survival mode, okay? They feel like they can't even look after themselves. Like, they don't even know what they have to offer you. They feel like it's better to just keep themselves away from you. I'm hearing Madeline. Yeah, they look at you and they feel like they've watched you go from nothing to building something, okay? Like, maybe when you met them, you know, you weren't in the... You weren't in the situation that you're in now, okay? Because now they see that, you know, you've really built your life up and they feel like they haven't and they're sort of embarrassed, right, guys? They feel like that things have gone backwards for them and you've had a major glow up. Like, you've literally gone from the Nine of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles. So right, they've watched you glow up. I'm hearing I'm proud of you. I'm hearing that song from Drake, um, I'm so proud of you as well, so... This person's really proud of you as well. Like, they watch, like, this glow up and they, like, are proud of it. But the thing is, they're a little bit embarrassed because they feel like things have been going backwards and they're sort of scared that you're going to judge them, right? But this person doesn't realise that it's like they're missing a golden opportunity here. Like, you feel the same way, right? They don't realise that. They just feel like you have so many options. Like, why would you choose them? They don't have a lot to offer. They feel like they've been really manipulative in this um, connection, okay? They've showed a very sneaky side to them. Um, they basically, with the star and the uh, queen of wands, right? <laughs> this person's really put you on the pedestal. Like, they really look at you like you're some type of celebrity here. And the ten of pentacles, like, this person feels like you've got it all. Like, you literally have it all. You've got beauty. You know, you've got um, abundance, okay, you're stable, people love you, okay, you may be in the public eye with the star here and the ten of pentacles, um, and this person feels like that, yeah, with the three of pentacles in reverse, they may not even have a job, okay, they may not even have, like, they, they really, they seem to have lost their income, lost their job, okay, and things don't seem to be working, I do see them looking, okay, for work. But this person really feels like they need to make some type of money or something, or they need to come forward with something to offer, where if this person really just came forward and told you the truth here, if they just, you know, were honest here, they could literally be happily ever after, right? They'd be really surprised. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.